To some people, a protocol is a set of rules for how you greet a foreign dignitary. And to a pilot, protocol may be how to follow a checklist before you fly an airplane. But if you run a casino or a video lottery, a protocol is far more than a list of procedures, especially when you consider all the technology involved in a modern gaming operation. Casino gaming floors or video lotteries today are like big, complex computer networks, connecting hundreds or thousands of gaming machines to computers and specialized equipment. But gaming machines can come from dozens of different companies and often communicate in different or incompatible languages. And all those different products are sending thousands of messages to each other all the time and even exchanging information with components inside the same gaming machines, like with card readers, printers, or jackpots. Unfortunately, because games and computer systems often use their own proprietary commands and languages, SMIBs or slot machine interface boards get put into the mix. These are special interface boards and translator devices that let the games and systems talk to each other, and at no small cost we might add. This scheme has worked fine for years, but think about it. Can you imagine paying an interpreter to be with you all day every day just to translate for everyone you come in contact with? As a result, most casino operators usually end up with a hodgepodge of games, SMIBs, floor controllers, collectors, converters, and proprietary computers from a bunch of manufacturers, all requiring that you pay extra just for the luxury of being able to have all those things talk to each other. But wait, there's more. Because suppliers typically decide what information gets sent or received by your games, translator devices, and SMIBs, you may not even be in control of or even getting all of the data that is generated on your floor. So in the end, there you are, a casino operator or technology manager feeling very much like a symphony conductor, ready and eager to provide your customers with a terrific performance by your orchestra of games and jackpots made up of players of all kinds from many manufacturers. And, well, you get the picture. By now you're wondering, what does all this have to do with GSA and protocols anyway? First, we need to understand that a protocol is not a piece of software, or computer code, or even an application. Remember, a protocol is just a set of rules that everyone has agreed to. In fact, I think of it like sheet music for that orchestra. It's the rules for how the music is played, how a note is written, how long the note is held, how loud the instrument is supposed to be, and so forth. So thinking about our analogy, the Gaming Standards Association does not compose music, play music, or even conduct the symphony. It's up to gaming manufacturers to create the instruments that perform in the casino symphony in the form of products and software. Conducting the casino symphony is the job of the casino manager or lottery director. The Gaming Standards Association brings manufacturers and operators together to create the standards and protocols, then acts as the keeper and publisher of the standards. So if the rules, in this case the GSA standards, are followed by all the players and the protocols are accurately implemented by suppliers in their products and independently certified, when a casino technology manager is ready to perform his or her symphony of games and entertainment, all the parts come together and it's a beautiful thing. When gaming operators and manufacturers make the decision and commitment to standardize on GSA protocols, beyond elegant and reliable communications between games, devices, and networks, many other tremendous benefits begin to appear as well. First, hundreds of unnecessary roadblocks, choke points, and expensive components can be eliminated from a gaming floor, so big data can be freed up and put to work by operators. That, in turn, improves operating efficiency, saves costs, propels marketing, and increases functionality, all while saving millions in the way of those unnecessary and inhibiting parts and pieces. So if you're a gaming operator or casino technology manager, get on board with GSA, free up your floor, your profit potential, and your capital, and in the process, improve your product and your business. Gaming Standards Association, work together, do amazing things.